Hello, HQCs. How's your Saturday night going? Well, it's about to be a blockbuster now. Maybe you're out to dinner, but whatever's on the menu does not compare to the treats in store for us at the new Star Wars theme park. We have inside info on the tasty snacks that will be available, including Andorian Tip Yip, Sour Sarlacc, and Blue Milk and Cookies. Yeah, sounds out of this world, right? No Darth Vader Vindaloo on the menu, sadly. I'm Sharon Carbonu, your spaced out presenter at your phone's epicenter. And I want to thank you all for all the lovely birthday wishes on Twitter. I may have a special present for you later to say thanks if you stick around to celebrate with me. Happy birthday to all your fellow Pisces out there as well. It's going to be a party tonight. Guaranteed, because we are so close to the big season two finale. It is going down tomorrow night. So let's see what that prize is right now. Wowza, look at that. It now stands at $124,019. And remember, tonight is your last chance to earn points and level up in the game. Whatever the prize lands on by the end of the game, that will be the final prize for the season. Stay tuned to find out just how high it will go at the end of the game. I can't wait. By now you all know about boys. You can earn them by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Those points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass keeps you in the game even when you get a question wrong. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Level 10 is the highest. High like Jabba on Moof Juice. Now if you hit level 10, that means you only have to answer a few questions right to win HQ tonight and on the big game tomorrow as well. Right now, you are playing for $2,500, 2,500 big ones, smackers, the big bucks, plus for each point you earn this evening, we're going to multiply it by, get this, by 35. Yes, indeed, you heard right, that is an HQ record right there. It was 25 yesterday, we're feeling super generous tonight, 35 tonight. Now, extra lives are awesome. They can help you return like the Jedi. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. When you use an extra life, you can still play when you get a question wrong. You play five days in a row and you'll score a life for free. You can use it on any round aside from round 12, not the last one. Now, Monday, as you know, it's Movie Monday, so watch out for the icebergs, everyone. We're bringing you Titanic trivia. Are you the king of the world? Or maybe the queen of the world? We'll find out Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be a really fun one, my favorite movie. Okay, strap in, because we're about to make the jump to hyperspace for the final time before the season finale. Time to Skywalker on those haters. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we? Here we go with Q1. Which product does Microsoft make? Buggy whips, computer software, butter churns. Microsoft, we've all bought a Microsoft product. Butter churns can make soft butter, but Microsoft doesn't make butter churns, keeping with the soft theme here. It's computer software that they make, of course, and you computed that one pretty well, 317,000 if you did. That computer software made Bill Gates into one of the richest men in the world. He goes hard and soft. Q2. Which of these animals is completely boneless? Elephant, antelope, jellyfish. Has no backbone. Which animal are we talking about here? Spineless, I'd say. An elephant with no bones would just be a big giant splodge. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Jellyfish, of course, is the answer that we were looking for here. You're fishing for that prize tonight, aren't you? 321,000 of you are. Jellyfish don't have bones, eyes, brains, or even a heart. They aren't really fish, and they're not made of jelly. They're just living a big lie. 
Now remember, this is your last chance to level up everyone before our big season finale tomorrow night. So make the most of it. Check out those point multipliers. Some of you can see them on your screen right now. They can help you maximize points and you can do the math here. And the more points you earn, the bigger the cash prize for the season finale tomorrow night. So don't miss out on that chance. Q3. Which of these US presidents appears on Mount Rushmore? Dwight D. Eisenhower, Abraham Lincoln, Ronald Reagan. I need to take a trip to South Dakota to see this for myself. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Mount Rushmore. If you went for Reagan, you just lost the election, I'm afraid. He was only just getting into acting when the sculpture was carved. Keeping him honest, it's Abraham Lincoln we were looking for here. You're telling nothing but truths. If you tapped on Abraham Lincoln, it wasn't Dwight Eisenhower, that's for sure. 282,000 of you nailed that one. Lincoln embraced the nickname Honest Abe, an honest politician and lawyer was quite the rarity. Still is. Q4. In volleyball, the hit meant to smash the ball towards the ground is called what? Whammy, thump, spike. Yeah, volleyball fans out there. Volleyball players. I like beach volleyball. If you tapped on whammy, you are taking one yourself right now, I'm afraid. Going full force, it's a spike. You call it a spike and you are volleying forward if you tapped on spike. 313,000 if you did. Spikes have been compared to dunks in basketball. These ball slams really get the crowd going and the opposition sweating as well. That was fun to watch. All right, Q5. Which style of wordplay specifically refers to scrambling the letters of a given word to form a new one? Anagram, acrostic, cryptogram. You just shuffle them all around. What's it called though? Some of the DMs I get from people are cryptograms, probably best not deciphered. We use these all the time to test you on HQ. You know what it is, it's an anagram. Of course, when you shuffle and scramble those letters around 249,000 of you knew that. Some of my favorite anagrams, well, conversation transforms into voices rant on, and yes they do, and admirer equals married. So stay away. Q6. By definition, nephrologist is an expert in what body parts? Kidneys, brain, lungs. Are you an expert on experts? Nephrologist, what could that be? Well, lungs is not the answer here, so take a deep breath and use an extra life. Nephrologists specialize in taking care of our kidneys. Kidneys is the answer here, and you're filtering through to the next round, 221,000 of you. You're killing it tonight, you really are. Lung experts are pulmonologists, brain experts are neurologists, and trivia experts are triviologists. Okay, I made that one up. Q7, halfway. What is the main difference between a Manhattan and a Rob Roy? Type of whiskey, type of bitters, type of vermouth. I was a bartender for a hot minute. I have to say, the world's worst bartender. Both of these cocktails are way too much for me. I'm a champagne kind of girl myself. Going for the strong stuff this time is the type of whiskey, two different types of whiskey that they use. And cheers to you. That was a savage question right there. Here are the halfway mark. Savage. Indeed. 200,000 of you gone. Sadly, 106,000 of you still in the game. Now, Manhattans lean towards rye whiskey, while Rob Roy's lean towards scotch. One too many of either. You're leaning backwards. Q8. The game Mortal Kombat was first conceived as a vehicle for the star of what movie? Under Siege, Time Cop, The Delta Force. Were you a Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat kind of kid? Jean-Claude Van Damme was the hottest action star at the time and the game was nearly named after him, the star of Time Cop. That was his movie and that was a tough question right there, wasn't it? 85,000 of you made it through though, you were right on time with your answer. The deal fell through so they called it Mortal Kombat instead. Then they tried to cast it in the movie version and they were foiled again. Didn't work out. Q. Nine, what business principle states every employee rises to their level of incompetence? Philip principle, Peter principle, Paul principle. 
Not the pleasure principle. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. There seems to be some truth or a lot of it behind this theory. Robbing Paul to pay Peter is the pizza principle we're talking about here and you've been promoted 58,000 of you have to the next round. The principle states that if you keep getting promoted, sooner or later you're going to be useless at your new job. Well better later than never. Q10, who did not sing the theme to a James Bond film, Sheena Easton, Rita Coolidge, Donna Summer. So many great James Bond theme songs. There's nothing like a James Bond theme song really, is there? It's the best part of the movie. She worked hard for the money, but not on a 007 track. Donna Summer. Yeah, she never did it. 43,000 of you are disco dancing to the next round. Rita sang the theme to Octopussy while Sheena's track was For Your Eyes Only and Your Ears Too. Now don't forget players, HQ Words coming up next after trivia that is taking place at 9.30 p.m. with my girl Anna. So don't go anywhere, keep your phones close. Q11, the penultimate round, we're almost there. Here we go. What island has a capital city with no official residence? Montserrat, Palau, Nevis. Don't have to worry about congestion and noisy neighbors in this city. If you're looking for a capital city with a laid back vibe, that would be an understatement here. Montserrat's capital has one official resident, a volcano, but no human ones. It's Montserrat, that is the answer that we were looking for here. And 14,000 of you nailed that up. We're gonna go with another savage question here. Double the savage, because we lost 35,000, 14,711 of you still standing strong. Plymouth was evacuated in 1995 after it was basically destroyed by lava. Time to erupt again, because we're in deep and heading into the final round. We've got 14,711 players left in the game, another 10,000 using extra lives to get back in. We've got $2,500 in the bag tonight and a lot of points at stake. Q12, which of these police shows launched a short-lived spin-off, Magnum PI, Miami Vice, 21 Jump Street? Three classics. As we sure loved our cop shows in the 80s, didn't we? Magnum PI's mustache must have deserved a spin-off, but it didn't get one. Remember Booker? You know, the crime drama only lasted one season. No Johnny Depp this time, but the spin-off did feature Richard Grico. 21 Jump Street is the answer we were looking for. We've got 9,598 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Well done to our 9,598 winners tonight. You totally killed it. We had a couple of savages in there. You are taking home 26 cents. Yes, you are. We've got Earl Daddy right there. We've got uh, JD Ronnie 13. Uh, Live Pasta with a big smile. Uh, J Die Trich 7 as well. Cute, cute couple. Well done. To all of you, you totally nailed it tonight, and that wasn't an easy quiz. It's never an easy quiz, is it? But you made it through all the way to the end, setting you up well for tomorrow's season finale. Well done, each cuties. Since you stuck around to celebrate with me, I have a little thank you gift for you. When the chest appears on your screen, tap the open button repeatedly and don't stop tapping until the chest opens. If you're lucky, you'll find a surprise inside. So let's go, let's do it. Tap away, HQTs, keep on tapping. Don't stop tapping until it opens. Tap, tap, tap away. Keep on going, keep on going. One more tap, a few more taps, okay. Now let me know what you found inside. Hopefully something special. We'll put a big smile on your face. Great game, everyone. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me as always. Stop by, say hi. We are back tomorrow night, of course, at 9 p.m. Eastern with the season two finale. Hold on a second. I'm getting word right now. Wait, what's that? We're tallying up the points. 
Okay, the numbers are in right now. Tomorrow's season two grand prize will be a whopping $125,687. Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. You do not want to miss out on that cash. Good luck, everyone. I am rooting for you. Bye for now.